In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to color grade skin tones in just the camera raw filter. So, you're going to be color grading this very image from looking like this at looking like this. I hope you can see the before and after. So, the very first thing I want to do right now is coming right here and resetting everything the way it is uh, meant to be. So, I'm just going to reset everything to default to show you guys my steps or how I do color grade skin tones in the camera raw filter so let's kick in and we start doing this in photoshop so let's the very first thing i want to do for this image is turning up, down my highlights just like that i think to around let me just go with negative 49 and i'm going to do the same for my whites to around let me take it down to around negative 31 can do for this image then the next thing I prefer to do is pushing down my blacks. So I think that uh, this looks fine to around, I think negative 17 can do. And also pushing up my shadows a little bit because I feel like when I push my shadows, when I pushed my blacks down rather, I tended to have more shadows in the image. So I'm just going to push up my shadows to around 13. So the next thing, since I'm a Canon shooter and I usually get uh, magentas in most of my images, I'm going to come to a tint option and remember the opposite of magenta is green. So I'm just, I'm just going to move this slider towards uh, the green side. So I think one will do. So this is the before and after, before, after. So after doing that, I'm going to take... I'm just going to go down and add some little bit of clarity to this image. So it is basically more of a test and preference for these basic sliders. Then what I want to do, I'm just going to go next to the vibrance option. So under this, I'm just going to push down the vibrance of this image to around negative 4. And also reduce on the saturation. And you can see the before and the after right now then what I want to do now is coming all the way down to my HSL panel or the color mixer option so you can see this is the color mixer option so under color mixer we have the hue saturation and luminance so basically when we are hewing down colors we'll be changing them that's how I can explain it. So if at all I come under the hues, you can see when I hue reds, I be pushing them towards uh, the oranges. Then if I hue the oranges, I be pushing them towards the yellow. So it is more of this kind of S format. So if at all I hue the aquas towards uh, my left hand side, I be hewing them towards uh, the greens. And if at all, I hew the greens towards the left hand side, I be hewing them towards uh, the yellow side. So that is basically how this hue option works. So I'm going to first of all play around with these colors to see what works best for me. So I'm just going to come the oranges and I push them towards the yellows, uh, pushing it towards around four. Then I'm also going to come to the yellows and just push them towards the greens so i'm just going to push it around at uh, 26 i think uh, here it is fine then after playing around with those colors remember skin tones are usually more of the reds oranges and yellows in the image so the next thing i want to do since i want the lips to pop or the lipstick to pop i'm just going to come to the saturation option and since I have some kind of reddish color in the lips of the model, I'm just going to push up the saturation of the reds all the way to 100. Then since the image is now really getting so orange, I'm just going to come to the oranges and push it down. Because I want that kind of melanin kind of look for this image. Don't mind if at all it is turning out to look pale. Then I'm going to desaturate or remove the yellows from this image because I want the model to stand out for this case. So I'm just going to push the saturation of the yellows 
and you can see that this really adds a whole kind of new vibe to this image so i'm just going to push it to around negative 92 so the next thing is the luminous slider so luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color so in order to play around with the luminous we're just going to go to the oranges remember we just want to mute down or darken the oranges to have that kind of solid kind of skin tone for this model so you're just going to come the oranges and remember if at all you push it up you'll be lightening up the oranges and down you'll be darkening the oranges but that would be too much so i'm just going to push it down just up to that point when i feel like i'm okay with it so i think negative 40 looks good then i'm going to brighten up the yellows in this image so i'm just going to come and push up this slider to around six and i think uh, this is it for the hsl panel but this is not all for the color grading of this image so the next thing we want to do is going all the way down to the calibration option so i'm just going to scroll all the way down to the calibration option so under calibration you're going to be playing around with the red primary, the green primary, and the blue primary. So under the red primary, I just want to hue the reds. So I'm just going to push this, I think, to around 7 workspace for me. Then I'm just going to desaturate uh, the reds from this image to around negative 7. And I hope you guys are loving this image already. So this is a before and after so far then the next thing is going to be our green primary so under green primary i'm just going to i'm just going to reduce on the all hue the greens i'm just going to go to around negative eight and also do the same for a saturation just going to knock it down because i feel like it was a little bit oversaturated to around negative 19 then coming to the blues, I'm just going to push it towards uh, the purples, the hues. So I think at around 4 it looks fine. Then I'm going to desaturate uh, the blue. Just like that to around. Let me just see what works best for me. So I think to around negative 16. And this image already looks nice and amazing. So after doing all th that... Remember, we just want to color grade everything regarding this very image. So you can see the before and the after so far. So when you feel like uh, the image is really turning a little bit green in color, we are going to come back to our white balance option and simply add some kind of magentas to this image to around, I think, to around 3. And this looks fine. So we can even just push up the exposure a little bit and slightly push up the shadow so this is the image initially before and after before after so after doing the color grading and you're fine with what you have done we can now do one final step before you can open the image into maybe photoshop to do your skin retouching so just want to whiten the eyes of the model so i'm just going to zoom into the eyes and come and get the adjustment brush tool so this tool enables us to apply certain effects depending on how it has been set to work so since we want to whiten the eyes remember we have certain colors in the white area of the eye and those colors include greens reds magentas and some other random colors so if at all you wanted to whiten the eyes or the white area of the eye you're going to eliminate the yellows by moving the temperature towards the blue side. So the opposite of yellow is blue. So I'm just going to go with around negative 18. And to eliminate the greens, I'm just going to push this towards uh, the magentas to around 63. And since I want the eyes to pop, I'm just going to push the highlights up to around 3. And also push up uh, the whites to around 3 and leave the rest at 0. So the next thing I want to do is desaturate those other random colors that we have in the image. And in order to do that, come to the saturation and 
just knock it down to around uh, negative 65 and simply left click and paint over that white area of the eye to whiten it so you can see that everywhere we are painting is getting that or is getting affected and we are just whitening that area that we are painting so you can even come and paint in that nice and beautiful catch light uh, within the eye area so simply if at all you want to maybe go to the other eye you can hold down the space bar so you can hold down the space bar you get the hand tool and when you hold it down left click and move to the other eye that you want to whiten in this case so just come in paint over the white area so remember you are only painting over what you feel should be whitened in this case so just paint over only the white area and you can as well paint over the catch light in the eye area if at all you want to whiten up or brighten the catch light in the model's eyes so basically this has been a tutorial about my color grading routine and how to color grade skin tones in the camera filter so when you feel like you're done with everything you can simply come and hit open to open the image into photoshop and in photoshop you can go ahead and do some minor adjustments to the image and you can color grade it further if at all you really want to so i could just come to the selective color and come to my blacks and simply darken the blacks a little bit to around two and add that kind of cooling feel to the image to around negative eight so this is going to look really nice and amazing so you can see before and after before after so basically this is my color grading routine and how i do color grade skin tones in just the camera roll filter and just photoshop and if at all you have loved this so don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video so that youtube can really push it to more people out there i'm ronix from ronix photography and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing keep color grading and keep creating